welcome to my video about uh, how to build a simple key tracker using Python. Um, first of all, to say that this is an educational video, it's purely for educational purposes to show you how the code works. It is up to you to use the program or develop the program how you wish um, and you take full responsibility. I'm going to show you two videos then or, or, or two programs. The first program is going to be the code working and I'll talk you through it and then I'll show you the actual code and um, talk you through how the different features are, are working and how I uh, developed it and some of the headaches because you know being a teacher part of the fun is learning and uh, it was interesting because some of the elements took longer than I thought um, some of the bits that I thought were going to be very easy um, took a long time uh, let me show you the program running first so I'm just going to run this so this is a compute, uh, completed program. It looks like a normal shell and I just simply type out some content. And what's going on is uh, the program is actually recording each keystroke. So if I was to write the word uh, dog, <laughs> if I was to write the word dog, not God, um, that's being recorded. Space is being recorded. Uh, I can go to a new line and type something else like this. Okay, now when I exit the program, what's gonna happen is this uh, file here, or, the, or the, the letters in here are gonna be written to a file. So I'll press exit, just looks normal. But if I go to the folder where the program is kept, you'll now see this uh, program here, sorry, this um, text file called what they wrote, aptly named. And in there is the uh, words that I wrote. So you can see where I've put the uh, full word, hello world, God, and then I use the backspace. And then there's the return and then the shift key, obviously, or escape key to exit it. So let's close that. And if I run the program again, I'll write something different. Press enter. Oh, that wasn't enter. End the program. And now when I open up what they wrote, we should now have the new uh, text. I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. Here we go. So I wrote hello world and goodbye, and we've got hello world and goodbye. Obviously the shift is there because I used a capital letter, so that is added in. And um, it's quite simply, the program is recording the keystrokes and then writing them to a text file, which I can then pull out later on. Um, so that's the program in action. Uh, what I'll do now is show you a program with some print statements in um, that will actually uh, display in a bit more detail um, how the program's actually working. So the program starts off with a simple uh, import of sleep from the time menu. This allows me to add some delays and pauses. And then I've got two global variables. One is called what was typed, which um, stores the letters and keystrokes in real time. And the second global variable is called final cars or chars for characters. And that's where the um, list of letters and keystrokes is converted into a string so it can be written back to the um, written back to the text file. Uh, the main library that I'm using is uh, called Py Pynpnut or P Y N P U T. Probably short for like input, but Py input. Uh, if you look at the comments below um, or the description, you can see the the links to both the files and also um, to this module if you want to try it out yourself. The first function then is to write to the file so um, actually I'll probably go I'll probably go to the second function because the second function is what is used to capture the keystrokes so quite simply um, when I press one of the keys down um, it captures the key and uh, you can see key here 
and convert it to a string. And then I check that the contents is a key space or key dot space. And that means I press the space bar. And because I didn't want to um, end up with a text file full of loads of key dot space statements, um, what it does is it replaces it with an actual space. So it looks a bit more, uh, a bit more realistic. Um, if I just run that, you can see what I mean by that. So if I go something like hello, and in space, you can see the, the key backspace and key space is building up here. Um, but actually, there a space there rather than the word key space. So it just means that you don't end up with a load of um, text that isn't uh, isn't re uh, relevant. And then the um, second statement, the LF statement, is basically if you press the enter key, then it puts in two backslashes, and that way you can identify when someone has pressed entered. This is the uh, bit you're probably interested in. Each time a key is pressed on the keyboard, it gets appended to the uh, list at the top. Uh, this is appended as single characters, each one a single entry. And then just for the sake of uh, testing, and also so you can see what's happening, uh, each letter is printed out. So if I press H, you can see that the H has been added, E, L, L, O. So the program is adding each individual keystroke like this into a list. Um, and then the, the third function here is then obviously uh, releasing it and it's checking for the escape key being pressed once the escape key is being pressed then it writes to file and this is a function at the top that uh, I started off with so if we scroll back up to there it's going to close that um, all this is obviously script uh, but it's you is you know useful to tell me what was going on um, to try and keep track of if the information was being uh, typed or being written back so this here is just kind of for testing purposes this is the important bit here the final chars or final characters I'm basically joining each of the items in the um, in the list into a string because in order to write back to the um, in order to write back to the text file with something that looks like text that we understand uh, a formatting that we understand I need to convert it to a string Otherwise, what I get is each individual word with quotation marks around it, and it's very difficult to identify words that have been uh, been added or been typed. Um, this bit took me a long time, probably two or three uh, hours, trying to play around and work out how it worked and uh, what, what the features were. So basically what I'm doing is in the fine, um, this one here joins all of the letters together um from the list into a string and this part checks through the string and it replaces all of the quotation marks which were around the individual letters and it replaces them with a space so if i quickly show you what i mean by that so if i type in something like hello you can see that in the list you've got all of these quotation or speech marks around it and they are annoying so this line here is basically replacing them with empty space, which means that uh, you get the full word written into the terminal. So if I press escape now, that's what the list looks like, but the string has been written back, which is there. And this formatting just makes it easier for us to, to see. So you, uh, hello, rather than individual letters. I think I'll probably explain that. I feel like I repeat myself. Um, then we've got some printing just to check it's working. Then I just printed out the final characters so you could see what was uh, going on. And that way I could check that the information was actually being written back to the um, to the text file. So all in all, um, not, a num not that many lines. I've so got 72 lines. And uh, they're actually um, 72 lines with the printing. But if I go to the final tracker, you can see I've got 57 lines. And even then, there's probably elements I could cut out or tidy up. Um, so we're looking at about 45 lines, maybe maybe 42 lines in order to make the, the keylogger. I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of this in action then. So this is kind of like the test build. And when we can see it's working, I'm going to go, hello, world. 
Um, you can see the string here, press escape, gets converted, and then it writes the information to the file. And there we've got hello world, and then someone pressed the escape key. So two files there, um, sorry, two versions of the program there, the working one, how it works one, and then obviously the final one where all that printing is hidden because obviously we don't want, um, the whole point of the keylogger is that it's uh, covert and you can't see that it's being logged. So exit the program. And here we go. This is the program working. So thank you for your time. I uh, hope you found that enjoyable. Um, as I said, check out the description. There is the module. Uh, there's a link to the codes as well on GitHub. Um, I'd love to hear your comments. If you'd like me to create a different type of program or add an extra feature to it, let me know. And um, yeah, by all means, drop me a comment. Let me know how you get on. And don't forget to like and subscribe.